where to store and find your 3D printing files along with a few bonus extras. This is a lightning round, so let's get straight into it. Starting with Thingiverse. We all know it, it's the OG of the STL community, and it's pretty great, but at the same time, it is quite dated, hasn't been updated in years, and as of recently, Maker Muse pointed out, there's been a huge security flaw that, well, Quite frankly, over 280,000 accounts have been compromised with their emails and passwords being publicly available. So if you have an old account, probably make sure you change your password. Then we have My Mini Factory, and it's exactly that. Right this minute, it is a lot of minis. This used to be an OG one as well that had a lot more than just minis. Now, lots of people still use it to this day where they upload all of their files because they have this great sort of testing thing that they do with all their files to make sure that they're 3D printable. Now, in the past, I remember that they used to have an entire wall of 3D printers in their headquarters because I actually went there. And they used to literally test and print almost everything or get somebody else to test it out. Nowadays, I have a feeling that it's all done digitally, so I don't know how well that applies, but from what I'm aware of, everything here is still very much 3D printable. Then we get to Cults 3D. You really get an absolute mix of everything here. Some really top quality stuff, both paid and free, quite a bit of paid, but they have a very nice commission cut, which I think is 80% to the designer, which I'm really happy with. And it's just great. You can see just how great from these images that these are some great files that we're coming up with. One you might not have heard of is Redfont or whatever you wanna call it, I just don't know. Now these files look very 3D printable, but at the same time, they look quite costly as well. Along the same lines, we get to Threading, which is a 3D print marketplace. Now there are quite a few free files here as well. Just make sure that you have to go into the all and turn on this free, and then you really get to see all the free files that are available. And there are some great golden nuggets in here. Speaking of golden nuggets, we get to Prusa printers. I absolutely love the Prusa printer website because everything here is completely free and most likely going to be 3D printable, especially if they're coming with images. So just be aware, this is a great place to look for prints. Along the same lines that we get to pin shape, except this does have some paid models as well, but some brilliant files to look through in here. You imagine it's pretty similar once again, but it's all completely open source in here. So everything is absolutely free. And I haven't found that it's been too hit and miss. Most of this is all 3D printable. A little bit of a weird one is XYZ Printing 3D Gallery. There is a lot of hit and misses here, but there's also some great little golden nuggets. Changing pace a bit, we're now gonna look at a couple of search engines as well as some things that are not directly just 3D printing. Starting with the mini index. Now the mini index is very very much for minis. So if you're looking into tabletop gaming, go to the mini index. Here's where you're probably gonna be able to find your mini super quickly, both paid and free. Then we get to Instructables, a fantastic website for DIY projects. I absolutely love it. And everything here is always completely free. Just find a project that you like the look of, scroll all the way down to the bottom and you'll find the files. And the brilliant part is that there is an entire DIY project to go with the print. Then we have the National Institute of Health and their 3D print exchange. And if you love your biology, you're gonna love this place because they have a whole bunch of random protein structures here, as well as some other more practical prints. And then we have Thangs, which is both a repository and a search engine of models, which can be quite hit and miss because it used to be very CAD-like, but as you can see, it's getting quite a bit more 3D printery, but I can't guarantee that everything here is going to be 3D printable. With that said, I'm starting to see with time what they're trying to do, which is more sort of a GitHub for 3D design. So we'll see how this goes forward, but there are some great golden nuggets in here. Speaking of golden nuggets, we have the Smithsonian 3D digitalization website, which has an incredible archive of 3D scans. Some of them more 3D printable than others. It can take a while for some of them to load in because they are that higher resolution. So be aware of that. Now, some of them as well, when you go to the download here, it doesn't look like in this one, there is actually a manifold version, which means that it's basically 3D printable straight out of the box. One that isn't inherently for 3D printing is CG Trader but they do have a nice little 3D printing model section. You go in here and you'll start to find that they have really sectioned out some 3D printable things here. So you click into it, you'll see that there's a whole bunch of stuff here. And of course, what we're really interested in sometimes is just the free ones. And there really is some incredible prints in here. 
Going into another search engine, we have STL Finder. I'll put in car, for instance, and I have found that this one can be quite hit and miss because it has things like 3D Ocean, which are very much just for rendering. But it could be useful if you're in a pinch or you can't seem to find that file. You've got to try all the search engines to try and find that file sometimes. Now, along the same lines, we get to Yegi, which is another 3D printing search engine. And I find that this one gives me much better results that when you put in car, you'll see it's all just 3D printable designs. Well, most of the time, just 3D printable. You might need to do a little bit of mesh editing down the line. Now, as a bit of an honorable mention, we have Kickstarter, which has some great campaigns going on. Yes, it's all paid, but at least you know absolutely everything that you get that you pay for here will be 100% 3D printable. And to help you get through this absolute mess of websites, I've created this air table that is linked down in the description. Currently, I have it grouped and filtered. So I have it grouped to 3D printing, the mix and uncategorized, very CAD style and very CGI. And you can see this is all my own personal opinion of all of these. You can see which need a login, which primary industry are they, what's printable. Again, I mentioned why my mini factory is the only one that's up there because for me, it's the only one that's actually checking the files to make sure that they are for 3D printing. If you don't wanna see it this way, you can also go to the gallery view here, see it more of an overview like this of each and every single one. And with that all said, I really hope this video helped you with your next 3D printing project. With that said, you might need to do a little bit of mesh editing. So I have a completely free course down in the description that is up here on YouTube. Or if you're looking just for 3D print design and getting straight to nuts and bolts of it, I have a paid course coming up real soon. And that's also linked down in the description. A huge thank you to my patrons. You guys are absolutely awesome. And it's thanks to you that I'm able to make videos here on Maker Tales. And if you're enjoying what I'm making here and you think I'm worthy of your support, I would love to see you there too. Don't forget that we have a Discord and that's linked down in the description. Thank you for watching, keep making, and let the quest continue.